United States of America co-chair this initiative. And now, as the co-chair, I invite the President of the United States for his remarks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, all my colleagues. This is, uh, someone once said in a similar domestic action that was positive, this is a big deal. This is a real big deal. And I want to thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. One Earth, one family, one future. That's the focus of this uh, G20 summit. And uh, in many ways, it's also the focus of this partnership that we're, gonna, that we're talking about today. Building sustainable, resilient infrastructure, making quality infrastructure investments, and uh, creating a better future. A future for greater, that presents greater opportunity, dignity, and prosperity for everyone. Last year, we came together as one to commit to this vision. And uh, this afternoon, I want to highlight the key ways in which the United States and our partners are working to make this a reality. Economic corridors. You're going to hear that phrase more than once, I expect, over the next decade. Economic corridors. As we work to address infrastructure gaps across low- and middle-income countries, we need to maximize the impact of our investments. That's why a few months ago I announced that the United States will work with our partners to invest in economic corridors. In practice, it means we're focusing on regional infrastructure projects that deliver results across multiple countries and in multiple sectors. And today I'm proud to announce that we've finalized the historic agreement for a new uh, India, Middle East, Europe economic corridor. As, uh, as a key part of this corridor, we're going to invest in ships and rail that extends the India, that extends from India all the way to Europe, connected by the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Israel. Bridging ports across two continents, unlocking endless opportunities, including making it far easier to trade, export clean energy, expand access to reliable clean electricity, lay cables that will connect communities and secure a stable internet, contributing to a more stable, more prosperous and integrated Middle East. And I want to thank the sponsors. And I particularly want to thank Prime Minister Modi and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salam, so, excuse me, Mohammed bin Salam, and uh, President von der Leyen and the European Commissions. And since it's, uh, he's not speaking today, uh, I wanted to, well, maybe he is speaking today. I had a note he wasn't speaking. At any rate, I'm, I'm going to stop there. In Saudi, the sub-Saharan Africa, we're working in a private-public partnership as well to invest in a trans-African corridor. That includes uh, a new partner, the European Union. President von der Leyen, thank you for making this very possible. Together, as part of this corridor, we're going to invest in a new rail line that will extend from the western port in Angola to the uh, DRC, to, to Zambia, and ultimately the Indian Ocean. It's a project that's about, uh, about far from just laying tracks. It's about creating jobs increasing trade, strengthening supply chains, boosting connectivity, laying foundations that will strengthen commerce and food security for people across multiple countries. This is a game-changing regional investment, and the, both of these are huge, huge steps forward. But they're far from the only ones. We're continuing to make big investments in infrastructure around the world. That includes a solar energy site, an insulin manufacturing facility, an electricity project, right here in India. We're continuing to develop economic corridors across Africa, Asia, and the Americas. And together with our partners, we're working to mobilize the trillions of investment needed to close infrastructure gaps around the world, including the formation of a new investor forum that the United States will host in a couple weeks. Let me close with this. The world stands at an inflection point in history, a point where decisions we make today are going to affect the course of our future our future, all of our futures for decades to come, a point where our investments are more critical than ever. So together, let's continue to work as one to seize this moment in history and max maximize our collective investments, to find new partners, to unlock new capital, because when we invest in low- and middle-income countries, all countries benefit. When we invest in emerging economies, all economies benefit. 
And when we invest in the future of people anywhere, people everywhere benefit. So I want to thank you again for being here. I look forward to working with all of you, and I'm going to turn it back to the Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr.